Huh? This looks like a superhero mask. Why would they separate it? Okay. Hmm. I should have been in um, Austin Powers Gold Member with this mask. I would have been like Gold Member is superhero. Except for this is like rose gold. Oh. Welcome to my channel. We're doing my everyday summer makeup routine. First thing that I use is my Rose Day Cream by Dr. Hauschka. This is a German product and it's one of my favorite lotions. I don't think I'm ever going to use anything else. Um, I usually just pat it in and then kind of get aggressive with it. I didn't realize how aggressive I am with it. Jeez. But it works so good. Um, the next thing that I use is the Revlon Kiss Exfoliating Balm. This is in sugar mint, so it tastes really good, as you can see by my reaction. Um, and I kind of just wipe it around because it has little sugar things on me. Okay, so now we're using the Honest Beauty Everything Facial Oil. I don't know if you guys have heard about Honest Beauty, but it's Jessica Alba's line. You're supposed to heat it up in your palms and then pat it on your face, which is just something that I always do, I guess, is I like to pat my face. You'll see in this video, I do that often. Uh, and... It helps you look glowy. Okay, so this is the big thing about today. I start by using now with the makeup products, my Matte Poreless Fit Me Foundation in the color True Beige. And um, this is what's gonna kinda give me a tan. <laughs> Sounds kinda weird, but I use the Real Techniques Complexion Blender Brush. It's meant for mixing lotion with it. Um, and I really, really do my best to blend it as much as possible to avoid any streakiness and I like to put it on my eyelids and my neck um, instead of just certain areas and here I'm getting a text and being cheesy uh, forget that <laughs> so I just continue blending continue blending and um, yeah it's a really lightweight foundation that's why I like to use it then I use my color stay foundation by Revlon in the color 180 this is sandy beige it's meant for combination skin I'm using it right now as kind of like a base for my concealer. In the winter time, I use it as a foundation actually, and it's really good for acne too, so. Then I use Maybelline's Master Concealer in 10 Fair. A lot of people have been asking me what concealer I use, and I just have been using this for a couple years now. Um, I haven't really expanded my product use though, as far as like um, Sephora or Ulta stuff, but like this is mostly drugstore products, by the way. Yeah, it's really getting in there. Then I use my Pixie finishing powder in number zero translucent. It's just like a, it's a finishing powder, you know. I like to put it everywhere. I don't put too much on though because I still want that glowy look. I just lightly pat it. And of course on my neck because I just want to make sure my neck looks as my face. Then I use the NYX Matte Bronzer in medium. I get really entertained <laughs> pretty easily um, I use a little I use this echo tools brush and I like to put it on my neck and if it's too streaky because the brush is small I'll use that big brush again to make sure it gets all over I make this weird face and I put the bronzer on my underneath my cheekbones and on top of my forehead which is like my favorite place to do my makeup I don't know why not my favorite place, but I just really like making my forehead look bronzy and stuff like that. It's strange. Oh, I did the pat of the face. Now I'm moving on to the CoverGirl blush. This is the um, CoverGirl Cheekers blush in Pretty Peach. Just use a blush brush, and I should probably be smiling to like show how to do it, but I do it this way. So you guys are going to hate me. I don't use a official highlighter. I'm using a Maybelline um, eyeshadow palette that has a highlighter for your eyebrow and I actually use it on my cheekbone too and I'm just kind of trying to blend it with a proper brush yeah I also use this NYX um, 
eyeshadow. It's kind of like a copper color. It's eyeshadow Ipsy NYX01. I've had it for a really long time, but it's just my go-to eyeshadow color, um, especially for the summertime. And I just put it in the crease and a little bit on my eyelid. Then I brush my eyebrows out. And for some, sometimes, sometimes I'm not really feeling like doing it and I'm just too lazy to actually fill in my eyebrows, so. My favorite thing to do is then, I like to use the 24 hour brow setter by Benefit. Oh yeah, just setting those brows. Now this is my favorite, yes. <laughs> this is my favorite mascara. A lot of people have been asking me for a long time what mascara I use. I use the Voluminous, Voluminous? <laughs> I can't say it. Butterfly Mascara by L'Oreal. This is pretty old right now, so it's gonna, it takes me a little bit longer, but I've been using this for so long and it works, it does the magic for me. I didn't even curl my eyelashes and it does the job. So it's kind of older and it's clumpy, so then I go in with one of these brushes and I just kind of try to get the clumps out and it does the justice for me. Yeah. I also have a little freckle right here that I always gets covered up by foundation, so I go in with that eyebrow pencil and I just kind of dot it because... I don't know just kind of trying to bring out a subtle beauty mark because why not then over everything I use pixies makeup fixing mist with rose water and green tea you can use it before makeup after or anytime during the day and yeah again with that rose I just really like rose products now I'm about to do my hair so I will be right back and that happened in a half hour not one second um, I was looking at my face and then I was like, I forgot something. And it's this rose kind of color. It's shimmery. It's like a rose gold, not, yeah, like a rose gold eyeshadow. And I put that all over my lid. And then the last thing that I use is Revlon's Kiss Plumping Cream in Barely Blush. Yeah, just trying to apply it. It's a light thing. So this is my makeup routine, guys, for the summertime. I try to keep it light. And actually, I was going out this night, so I decided to show you the kind of my top that I was wearing. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe, comment, and thanks for your support. <laughs> I'll catch you in my next video. Bye.